I bow to Roger Dakini. Mahamudra cannot be taught in Europa, but your devotion to your teacher and the hardship you've met have made you patient in suffering and also wise. Take this to heart, my worthy student. For instance, consider space, what depends on what. Likewise, Mahamudra, it doesn't depend on anything. Don't control, let go and rest naturally. Let what binds you let go and freedom is not in doubt. When you look into space, seeing stops. Likewise, when mind looks at mind, the flow of thinking stops and you come to the deepest awakening. Mist rise from the earth and vanish into space. They go nowhere, nor do they stay. Likewise, though thoughts arise, whenever you see your mind, the clouds of thinking clear. Space is beyond color or shape. It doesn't take on color, black or white. It doesn't change. Likewise, your mind in essence is beyond color or shape. It doesn't change because you do good or evil. The darkness of a thousand eons cannot dim the brilliant radiance that is the essence of the sun. Likewise, eons of samsara cannot dim the sheer clarity that is the essence of your mind. Although you say space is empty, you can't say that space is like this. Likewise, although mind is said to be sheer clarity, there is nothing there. You can't say it's like this. Thus the nature of mind is inherently like space. It includes everything you experience. Stop all physical activity. Sit naturally at ease. Do not talk or speak. Let sound be empty like an echo. Do not think about anything. Look at experience beyond thought. The body has no core, hollow like bamboo. Your mind goes beyond thought, open like space, let go of control and rest right there.
Mind without projection is Mahamudra. Train and develop this and you'll come to the deepest awakening. sheer clarity by means of classical texts or philosophical systems, whether of the mantras, paramitras, vinaya, sutras, or other collections. Ambition clouds sheer clarity and you don't see it. Thinking about precepts undermines the point of commitment. Do not think about anything. Let ambition drop. Let what arises settle by itself like patterns in water. No place, no focus, no missing the point. Do not break this commitment. It's like the light in the dark. When you are free from ambition and don't hold any position, you will see all that the scriptures teach. When you are open to this, you are free from samsara's prison. When you settle into this, all evil distortion will burn up. This is called the light of the teaching. Foolish are not interested in this. The current of samsara constantly carries them away. Oh, how pitiful the foolish. The struggles never end. Don't accept these struggles. Long for freedom and rely on a skilled teacher. When hither er energy enters your heart, your mind is free. What joy, samsaric ways are senseless. They are the seeds of suffering, conventional ways are pointless. Focus on what is sound and true. Majestic outlook is beyond all fixation. Majestic practice is no distraction. Majestic behavior is no action or effort. The fruition is there when you are free from hope and fear. Beyond any frame of reference, mind is naturally clear. Where there is no path, you begin the path of awakening. Where there is nothing to work on, you come to the deepest awakening. Alas, look carefully at the experience of the world. Nothing lasts. It's like a dream, like magic. The dream, the magic, make no sense. Experience this grief and forget the affairs of the world. Cut all ties of involvement with country or kin. Practice alone in forest or mountain retreats. Rest, not practicing anything. When you come to nothing to come to, you come to Mahamudra. A tree spreads its branches and leaves. Cut the root and 10,000 branches wither. Likewise, 
cut the root of mind and the leaves of samsara wither. Though darkness gathered for a thousand eons, a single light dispels it all. Likewise, one moment of sheer clarity dispels the ignorance, evil, and confusion of a thousand eons. What joy with the ways of intellect you won't see beyond intellect. With the ways of action you won't know non-action. If you want to know what is beyond intellect and action, cut your mind at its root and rest in naked awareness. Let the cloudy waters of thinking settle and clear. Let appearances come and go on their own. With nothing to change, the world you experience becomes Mahamudra. Because the basic experience has no beginning, patterns and distortions fall away. Rest in no beginning with no self-interest or expectation. Let what appears on its own and let conceptual waves subside. The most majestic of outlooks is free of all reference. The most majestic of practice is vast without limit. The most majestic of behavior is open-minded and impartial. The most majestic of fruition is naturally being free of concern. At first, practice is a river rushing through a gorge. In the middle is the river Ganges, smooth and flowing. In the end, it's where all rivers meet, mother and child. When your mind is less acute and does not truly rest, work the essentials of energy and bring all the vitality of awareness. Using gazes and techniques to take hold of mind, train awareness until it does truly rest. When you practice with a sexual partner, empty bliss awareness arises. The balancing of method and wisdom transform energy. Let it descend gently, collect it and draw it back up. Return it to its place and let it saturate your body. When you are free from longing and desire, empty bliss awareness arises. You will have a long life, you will not gray, and you will shine like the moon. You will radiate health and well-being and be strong as a lion. You will quickly attain the ordinary abilities and be open to the Supreme One. May these piss instructions, the essentials of Mahamudra, abide in the hearts of all worthy beings. Narration by Kenneth Thornton